Okay, this is another video for Nifty Thrifty Girl today. Um, today I'm showing you, this video is showing you a Kenmore Model 1781. This is a convertible machine, meaning that it um, changes from a flatbed to a free arm. And that happens just by slipping that rear part off and that accesses your free arm. This is a horizontal bobbin machine. Uh, meaning that the bobbin case area is flat, not vertical. So, no real difference. I don't think it still functions very well, as most Kenmores do. 14 built-in stitches, including reverse or stretch. Um, it has button holder option, and it does come with a button holder, the correct button holder. It does not have the buttonhole foot that's supposed to come with it. So I don't know if that makes a big difference, but I do have the correct buttonhole holder with the three templates that it's supposed to come with. Um, to access the buttonhole drive, you push this little button, pops up the plate, and there's your buttonhole drive gear. Back there. Kind of neat little thing. And it pops back on. This is how you make it a free arm. Oh. Kind of flips backwards like that, or you can slide it all the way off, I believe. And that would be this other button over here. It slides it off. See? Now, there's your free arm. I slid the little box off, and now you have complete access to the free arm. We're going to put our thread around and I'm going to put it back on. Just slide right back on. Very cool. Um, it has some decorative stitches. It's one amp. It is all metal inside. All the gears are metal. Bobbin winder on the top. It has the super high shank um, feet and attachments. Included are a zigzag foot, a satin stitch foot, and a straight stitch foot, and also the Q foot, which is for stretch or knit fabrics, and some bobbins, and a PDF copy of the manual for a model 1782. I don't exactly know what the difference is, but it looks exactly the same to me, so I'm going to provide you a PDF copy of that up on purchase. So, you know, if it has a very subtle difference, you might find what, out what it is as you're using it, but glancing through it, it looks like the exact same machine. Alrighty, let's sew a little bit. See, we're on straight stitch. It's a very nice sounding, smooth running machine. I love it. And again, I love most ten more, so not a lot of difference there. Switch over to a zigzag. It is double needle capable. Every stitch can be made with a double needle. And your manual will tell you how to do that. I think maybe the difference is this one has a buttonhole or switch up here on the top. Maybe the machine in the manual does not... I don't know, but hey, it's free when you buy it, so it'll at least give you an idea of how to operate this thing. Alright, let's switch over to stretch, which is just the turning of a dial. Do a stretch rick rack. See the fabric working up and back. nice. Um, change to a decorative pattern. This is an arrowhead. Change back to regular stitching. Pull your design in a little. This is one of the 14 built-in stitch patterns. Very, very nice designs beautiful. There's your stretch, there's your arrowhead. Very nice. 
And the fact that it's convertible to a free arm, it makes it the perfect machine because if you're just starting, you might not realize it, but you're going to need a free arm. And if you've been sewing, you know that you need a free arm. It just, it's inevitable. Six layers, I'm sorry, two, yep, six layers of denim. I'm using a size 16 needle. No problem whatsoever for this machine. A perfect stitch on six layers of denim. This is five layers of a woven upholstery fabric with a rubber backing on it. Probably never going to have to do five layers of upholstery, but it's nice to know that it'll do it. This is by no means is an industrial machine, and I'm not going to list it as an industrial machine. This is an older all-metal sewing machine that is very reliable and going to last a very long time as compared to the new plastic machines that you buy today. Therefore, I use the words heavy duty. Because compared to the machines you buy today, this is a heavy-duty machine. Three layers of garment leather, and I'm sorry they're so tiny, I'm out of leather, I have to go get some more. Three layers. Of course, this machine is not meant to sew saddles, knife sheets, bridles, anything like that, but if you want to make a pair of pants, or if you want to put a patch on your leather vest, or something like that, this machine is capable. Beautiful stitch. And that is the Kenmore 14 stitch convertible flatbed to free arm, model 1781.